Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over why you may not be receiving temperature notifications via your Lyric through HomeKit. So <clears throat> first thing you got to understand with the temperature notifications is that the response type for, this, for the temperature notifications are usually not response types that HomeKit is specific with. So for instance, HomeKit only gives you specific notifications. It'll actually, when I say specific, I mean like it'll say front door, back door, uh, living room motion. It'll be specific with those kinds of sensors because the response type that HomeKit works with are perimeter, entry delay, interior follower, and interior follower with delay. All right. So what this means is basically any door motions, windows, I'm sorry, any door sensors, window sensors, or motion detectors is usually only what HomeKit brings in and is specific with. Any other devices, if you have smoke, seals, in our case, temperature sensors, flood sensors, those all just come in as generic alarms on HomeKit. And if you're not even getting those, I'll show you guys how to enable that as well. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing we want to go ahead and do is uh, in order to receive sensor notifications or just general notifications for that temperature sensor, you need to make sure that you have the notifications enabled on HomeKit. So to do that, let me go ahead and get my iPad ready here. I have it hooked up to HomeKit. Um, let me get it ready so you guys can see. Three, two, one. All right. So just so you guys can see that my Lyric is paired to my HomeKit, I'm going to open up my HomeKit app. And if you look at the Lyric system, I'm just going to do a quick arm away. The system goes into an arm away. I'm going to go ahead and disarm it. The system disarms. Right there, our Lyric, I just proved that the Lyric system is paired to our HomeKit app on our iPad. Now, if you're not getting any general notifications at all, you need to enable them. So if you hit edit on the top right, you select your Lyric system. You want to go ahead and go down to status and notifications. Once you're on status and notifications, first of all, you need to do include in status, right? That's going to allow accessories included in status. Uh, or Sorry, it says accessories included in status will be included among the overview items listed at the top of the home tab. And then you also want to allow the notifications. That way, whenever the Lyric system goes off, the HomeKit app will also go off. If you have those disabled, then the HomeKit app is probably not going to notify you for this device. All right. Once you verify that, just go ahead and hit back, done, and done at the very top. So now that if you didn't have them enabled, now that you do have enabled, if you set off a, a general sensor alarm that's not a door, window, or motion, you should get a generic HomeKit alarm, which I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. Now, the other thing you want to make sure is that your temperature sensor, it's set to an auxiliary response type. So to do that, I'm going to go into security, security, tools. I'm going to enter in my installer code. Mine is defaulted at 4112. Yours might be different if you or your company has changed it. I then go over to program, zones, and I have a living room temperature sensor. I'm going to hit edit. And the response type you want to switch that to 24 hour auxiliary. Now the device type, it's obviously a temperature sensor, so you need to make sure it's set to temperature. And again, the response type, if you switch it to 24 hour auxiliary, make sure if you're being monitored by a central station, let your alarm company know so that that way they can notify the central station that this is a temperature sensor. As 24 hour auxiliary, if the central station receives a signal with uh, with that response type, they're gonna think it's a medical crisis and may dispatch the ambulance to you. So make sure you guys let your com your alarm company know, that way they can note down that this is a temperature sensor, not a medical emergency. So after that, you hit save, you back out. Epa. So I just hit the back arrow key all the way out to the main screen. So now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I have my tablet here at the home screen. When I set off, the temperature sensor, you guys are going to see two things. Well, three things actually. Uh, HomeKit is going to notify me that there was a, the Lyric system was triggered. Uh, I'm going to get a notification from Total Connect. Total Connect is Honeywell's application. Once you're monitored with the company, you just have to make sure you sign up for the correct service that includes that app. 
Total Connect is specific. You will see that on Total Connect, it'll let me know that there was actually a temperature sensor, the zone number, and the time. And then you will also see an email and, or in a text message. If you have emails enabled and text messages enabled, which I do, I will show you guys what the text looks like as well. So let me just go ahead and put the tablet down, set off my temperature sensor, the alarm goes off. There goes my home kit and now my total connect notification. And if I scroll down from the top here, give me one second, sorry. You'll see here uh, just now the HomeKit app only says default room lyric was triggered. It doesn't actually let you know what sensor it is. You'll see Total Connect actually says living room temperature sensor and triggered at 9.52 a.m. All right. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, disarm my system. I'm going to use my master code. I'm going to do disarm one more time. That way I can clear the alarm. All right. You can also clear the alarm through both apps as well. Uh, with HomeKit, you just have to disarm the system twice. And through Total Connect, you actually have the option to clear the alarm. All right. Um, and now let me show you guys the text message as well. So if you look at the text message, you will see I've actually tested it a little bit before. Um, but you should see here that it's very specific. Alarm alerts, office lyrics, sensor four, living room temperature sensor, alarmed at on the 21st of May 2019 at 9.52 a.m. It even lets you know that the built-in camera, which is right up here on the lyric system, if you have that enabled, it's enabled through Total Connect as well, by the way. If you have that enabled through Total Connect, whoever disarmed the system, you actually get an image of it. And then on the bottom, it'll actually let you know that the alarm was cleared. All right. Um, and then if you want, we can even go into the app Total Connect as it logs in. You'll see I'm getting notifications from both Total Connect and HomeKit, letting me know that the system was disarmed. All right. And now if you look at Total Connect, I can actually go ahead and view notifications from today. And you'll see basically everything that happened. You can go into the built in camera snapshot. You can um, look at all the different notifications that you got throughout the day from your Lyric system. All right. And uh, that is just a quick video showing you guys a little difference between HomeKit Total Connect and what it does for temperature alarm alerts. As you saw, HomeKit is generic when it's alerting you of anything that is not a door, window, or motion. So if it's smoke CO's, flood sensors, temperature sensors, anything like that, all you're going to get is default room was triggered. If you're looking for something specific and you're being monitored, then you might want to look into getting Total Connect service, which we do offer on most of our monitoring plans. Um, and then you can also get the emails and text messages to as many different phone numbers as you want. If you guys have any other questions on the temperature notifications from HomeKit with the Lyric, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.